All right, so Bungie has disabled the forges. Kind of. You know, you're now put back to orbit after each forge completion, which basically gets rid of all AFK forge farming. Now, it, thankfully, there's ways around that. Um, if you're on PC, easy. Macros, no problem. But on consoles, a bit different. So, at least on Xbox, there is a way to bypass this and to get macros to work. What you need is a PC and some software. So, for starters, make sure you have the Xbox console companion app. You can stream directly to your, your Xbox and boost it over. And that will go and you can actually have your controller input there. However, your controller isn't really going to work, so what you need is another software. This is on GitHub, it's uh, just Xbox keyboard and mouse. I'll put a link to it in the description. You download it, you go through the stuff, make sure you have what you need. You need another program, there's a download link for it, it's called SlimDX Runtime. Just, it's everything's safe, it works fine, it's not like a virus. It's fine. Install it, run it, but you need to run it with something else. So, initially you'll have the controller input, and that'll work. But you need to have a macro recorder. Quite literally, just look up macro recorder, it's or macro recorder.com, like, you know, link this. Go, download it, and that's all you need. Now, what you'll want to do is you want to go and open your macro recorder. Now, this is where to input everything. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to File, Settings, and you're going to want to uncheck Abort Playback on Key Press. Hit OK, and then we're going to input all this stuff. Now, this is a bit, a bit tricky. Things here will depend on your connection, on different things. You kind of guess and check. This works for me. It might not work for you. So, the first thing to do is going to wait for 10,000 milliseconds. And I'm going to, for now on, just say wait 10,000, so on. Key down, control, wait 1,000, key up, control. For now on, it'll just be if the first key is one, second one, you know, first key is down, second one's up. It's off of that. So, we go over again from the top. Wait 10,000, key down, control. Wait 1,000, key control. Wait 1,000. Key control, wait a thousand, key control. What this does is this goes in it, has the whole, in, you know, detecting new controller, bypasses that, goes through. You don't need it after the first time, but in case you bump your controller or something happens, it's good to have, just built in, adds more time. Now, so after that key up of control, it is wait, V, a thousand wait, then V again, 2,000, space, 1,000, space, 2,000, A, 1,150, A, 1,000, S, 400, S, 1,000, space, 1,000, space, 1,000, D, 1,000, D, 1,000, S, 50, S, 1000, space, 1000, space, 1000, then 180,000. Now, the 10,000 and the 180,000, those are your stop and starting points. Those are the ends of everything. Now, I have it, the first one, the start at 10,000, or 10 seconds, this allows me to hit play on the macro recorder and go through and click on everything, get the stream going, and have it set up perfectly fine. The bottom one is where you can change it to. This is going to determine the length of your forges. Now, you want to err on the side of waiting more. You know, longer is better. If you go too soon, you'll be stuck. You won't be able to go and do any of this. You'll be going and queuing up. If we try to queue up while you're in matchmaking, it won't work. I've had it a little bit too short before, so I actually did the bypass going to orbit matchmaking. I wouldn't do that. I would just go to orbit, have it sit through. This will account for people loading in slow, bad connection, taking too long to find a group, and so on. Now, back to the whole Xbox console companion. Let's say that you're having issues actually connecting it. You can't find your console. Simply connect through IP. You'll find it in your settings on your Xbox. Put it through. And you're good to go. And this is literally it. It's all it takes to do and get to work. Now, quick disclaimer here. Um, 
This may or may not be allowed with Bungie. In the past, macros have been somewhat okay for bounties, but this isn't a bounty. This might directly impact the game, given you could farm for essentially powerful gear, and especially later on um, for high stat armor. So be cautious with this. This is a warning there. It's you know it's just not 100 safe or whatever in that regard. In the past, no one's been banned for stuff like this. But you never know, since they have gone in and, and they've stopped these forges, because streamers started complaining about it, then it could become an issue. I should also note, too, that make sure your light level is below 750. Do not go in above. You can put on armor at 7, you know, way above 750. I have 1041 gear, 1040. Get a mask, get any gear that's 750 from any vendor in the world. Get this, your class item mod at 21 it's in you know, leveling grab that you'll be way below there will be no problems so make sure you do that now i would also if you don't have it already save up weapons like i have a full sympathy set if you really wanted to i could drop all the way down to 570 now i'm not but i don't really care but i can but there you have it so that's how you would Essentially, AOK okay, Forge Farm. Now, I the way I recorded this is through streaming, so I'm going to be uh, moving over to try to showcase it in action. But again, when I've said it works, it will work. I have to change some things. I'll get whatever I can, try to upload it somewhere, the files and whatnot, and get everything working. All right, now I'm terribly sorry for any shaky hand and the terrible quality here. I can't get anything else to work. So here is it showcasing the actual macro working. I will simply press play, go to stream. As you see, I started streaming and here we go. Controller inputs been detected. It loads up. You go to the forges. It moves over. Presses the forge button. Goes to matchmaking. Moves over. Goes and presses launch. Then we get to sit back and enjoy, well, the boringness of a forge AFK. I'm gonna run through this entire thing to do showcase that it does in fact work. So this will take some time. We're going through matchmaking. It's boring, but it is what it is. A lot better than uh, doing it manually. So, and you can turn you know your TV off or whatever. Just turn it off. You can do that other stuff. All thing with is I'm currently running on a remote desktop connection to another PC. So I'm a little bit luckier there. I can still go on my PC and not have to worry about anything. Given key presses, it could become an issue. I don't know. You can easily set up different key presses so if you don't use all the stuff is customizable. But here we go, we'll load in. It takes 10 years. This is the one problem with it, is that sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's not. So it's really up in the air of, you know, are you going to have enough time for it? And I should have input enough, and we'll actually see it move if I'm, you know, not enough time on there. There's too little too long. You can, of course, adjust it. I would definitely watch your first couple runs to make sure everything goes smoothly. Again, it's only pressing A and B, and then B to go to your menu. So through your... Shouldn't be any risk of deleting characters or losing gear. We're loaded in. You can see another person AFK, one more on me. We'll all die. And no one here is actually playing. Because I am in low enough light level for it. It's not becoming an issue. So we'll go, we'll set air and we'll wait. There we go. 
60 seconds worth of time. Take that into account as you will. That is always a constant. So. Double up that shaky can. At least it's not vertical though. Again, this is simply just showcasing the illusion. The fact that we're not being actually using this to do it, just to showcase that you can, and if you want to do it, by all means, you can risk it. But until Bungie says it's okay, as you can see, I've gone way too early. However, it's another time to work. So I'm going to actually probably adjust mine a little more on that. But the activity ended within time. I think. Or I might have booted out of it. I honestly don't know. We're going once more. So you know, I'm going to obviously adjust that a little bit. So the starting or end one you can change. Of course now I'm plenty of time. But there you have it. So change it how you want to. Um, again, this, I would change the end value. You can either probably put it 200,000 or 190,000, whatever you want to do. But again, that's where it varies. That's where you need to change. I don't think. By the completion, I think I actually backed out of the activity. But it's fine. I'll address it as I need to, but that just showcases that, yeah, it does work. So at least getting into it again once you fully address that problem. So. And it, again, it's looping continuously, so I can set this AFK right now and it would fun for me. So have fun.